why the third prophecy of Fatima is about to happen and why it is so frightening. The eagerly awaited third prophecy of Fatima has been shrouded in mystery ever since Sister Lucia, the child to whom the Virgin Mary appeared at Fatima, revealed the first two secrets in 1941 at the request of the local bishop. Over the years, fragments of the third secret have leaked out through popes and clerics, suggesting apostasy in the church, divine punishment and connections with other Marian prophecies such as Our Lady of Good Success, La Salette, and Akita. These events, coupled with news of war, atrocious crimes, and other horrors, have fueled the belief that the third prophecy of Fatima is about to come true. The prophecy was also associated with the message of Malachias, who seemed to have knowledge of the third secret given to Lucia. Faced with the current reality of the world, many see the prophecy as an even more urgent warning. The story of Fatima is one of the most fascinating and mysterious events in modern history with a profound impact on the world. In this context, we explore why the third prophecy of Fatima is about to come true and the reasons for concern if it is based on it. This year, regardless of religious or political ideologies, the world seems increasingly unpredictable and chaotic, reflected even in the recent turmoil within the church. The revelation of the third prophecy suggests that the current crisis in the church could symbolize a lasting threat to the Christian faith. With internal divisions and conflicts becoming more evident, the prophetic message, reinforced by Sister Lucia's memories, acquires crucial importance. At the end of the second prophecy, a phrase in Portuguese proclaims that the dogmas of the faith will always be preserved. This phrase has been interpreted by many scholars as an introduction to the third prophecy, possibly indicating an imminent crisis of faith to be faced. To understand all the details of the third prophecy, continue watching this video. In 1984, Cardinal Ratzinger described the prophecy as a danger to the faith and an attack on the core of Christianity. He warned that the apostasy would begin with the denial of the fundamental truths of Christianity, including the Word of God, doctrinal tradition, and even the divinity of Jesus Christ, reducing him to a mere man. This could result in the denial of Jesus' real presence in the Eucharist and the devaluation of the sacraments. According to him, this would be followed by the widespread practice of apostasy, marked by the abandonment of religious practice and faith in Jesus Christ, the heart of the Christian faith. This apostasy, according to Ratzinger, would be legitimized by the refusal to receive the Eucharist, which is seen as essential for a full life in Christ. He warned that banishing the Eucharist from the Church would cause devastating spiritual poverty, depriving the faithful of a vital source of grace. This event was described as an act of the Great Dragon, in the words of the Virgin Mary. The month of May, dedicated to Our Lady for centuries, highlights the importance of her apparitions over the centuries, encouraging Christians to receive Holy Communion daily, even though many have refused. Thus. The message of Fatima emphasizes consecration, not just superficial dedication. Consecrating oneself to God implies a deep commitment, giving oneself completely so that God can act through the person, the family, the church, or even an entire nation. It is an act of total surrender, saying, I am yours, I give my whole being to you so that you may use it according to your will. Due to the current perception of apostasy, Many believe that we are experiencing the fulfillment of the third secret of Fatima. This conviction feeds a sense of apprehension based on the terrible experiences associated with the first two prophecies. In the 1940s, Lucia revealed the first two secrets of Fatima in her memoirs. The first prophecy described a vision of hell, where the Virgin Mary showed the children the suffering of condemned souls. This brief but intense vision strengthened the faithful's confidence in Mary's promise to guide souls to Christ, avoiding this eternal suffering. The second prophecy, revealed on July 13, 1917, foretold the end of the First World War and warned of a new war that would occur if people continued to offend God and if Russia did not convert. The Virgin Mary asked for the consecration of Russia to her Immaculate Heart. 
The First World War brought with it not only military devastation, but also a global epidemic, the Spanish flu, which claimed around 20 million lives, including those of Francisco and Jacinta, who died from the disease. John Paul II, in 1981, after surviving an attempt on his life, felt that the prophecy referred to him as the bishop dressed in white who would be attacked by soldiers. He believed that it was the intervention of Our Lady of Fatima that saved his life by deflecting the bullet. The third secret was finally revealed in 2000 by the Vatican, describing dramatic events that echo the crises facing the Church and the contemporary world. Despite reports from Catholic leaders who claim to have seen Sister Lucia's original letter on the third prophecy, there is a persistent insistence that not all of the content has been revealed. The prophecy described in the letter given to the Pope in 1982 by Sister Lucia describes an anguishing vision, an angel with a flaming sword, whose flames seemed ready to set the world on fire, but which were extinguished by the splendor radiated by Our Lady. The angel called for penance and pointed to the earth, where the image of a bishop dressed in white was visible, interpreted by many as a reference to the Holy Father. The vision continued with the journey of a group of religious leaders up a steep mountain to a large wooden cross, passing through a ruined city and finding martyrdom at the top. This vision has been interpreted by scholars and specialists in Marian apparitions as a prophecy of the suffering and persecution the Church will face in the end times. The angel with the flaming sword symbolizes purification and divine judgment that will affect both the world and the Church. The bishop dressed in white represents the leadership of the Church and the challenges it will face, both internal and external. The steep mountain and the large wooden cross symbolize the difficult and sacrificial journey of faith. The ruined city reflects the devastation and suffering that will accompany this journey, while the angels collecting the blood of the martyrs highlight the importance of sacrifice and faithfulness in purifying the church and saving souls. What worries many is that the current crisis in the church, marked by abuse scandals, Internal divisions and a loss of faith in various parts of the world seems to reflect the warnings contained in the third secret of Fatima. Scholars who have interpreted the prophecy believe that we are living through the events described by Sister Lucia. Our Lady of Fatima repeatedly emphasized the need for prayer and penance as means of avoiding or mitigating the predicted chastisements. Her message of conversion and return to God is central to the Fatima apparitions, offering hope if these instructions are followed. One of the most critical aspects of the prophecy is the consecration of Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Although Pope John Paul II carried out a worldwide consecration in 1984, there is debate as to whether this consecration fully met the conditions laid down by Our Lady. Some argue that the consecration needs to explicitly mention Russia, and that failure to do so could have disastrous consequences. The nature of the prophecy also implies a spiritual purification through suffering. The vision of church leaders being martyred symbolizes the idea that the church will go through a great tribulation, where faith will be purified and strengthened through suffering. In addition, the third secret of Fatima contains a message of hope. Despite the difficulties and suffering predicted, Our Lady's promise is that, in the end, her Immaculate Heart will triumph. This indicates that, despite all the challenges, truth and faith will prevail. For many Catholics, the importance of Fatima lies in the call to action. The practice of daily prayer, especially the Rosary, Participation in the sacraments and devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary are seen as essential means of achieving world peace and conversion. The Fatima apparitions serve as a continual reminder of the need to live a life of faith and penance, regardless of external circumstances. Our Lady's message urges conversion, prayer, and penance as the means to face trials and seek peace. While the crisis in the Church and the world seems to align with the warnings of Fatima, the final promise of the triumph of the Immaculate Heart offers hope and guidance for the future. The Fatima story, with its profound spiritual and moral implications, 
remains a powerful call to faith and spiritual preparation for all the faithful. The third Fatima prophecy has been the subject of intense speculation and interpretation over the years, especially in relation to its relevance to contemporary world events. While the central message of prayer, penance, and conversion continues to resonate among the faithful, the warnings of apostasy and divine punishment have also generated debate about the spiritual condition of humanity and the Catholic Church. Many scholars and theologians interpret the signs of the times in the light of the third prophecy. The moral and spiritual crisis, divisions within the church and global conflicts are often seen as indicators that the prophecy is being fulfilled. This perspective encourages a re-evaluation of faith and a renewed dedication to the spiritual practices recommended by Our Lady of Fatima. The third prophecy also highlights the importance of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Consecration is seen not only as an act of devotion, but as a powerful spiritual measure against the evils of the world. The debate about the adequacy of the consecration carried out by Pope John Paul II continues, with some arguing that a specific consecration of Russia is still necessary to fully fulfill Our Lady's requests. The vision of the martyrdom of the faithful, including the Pope, bishops, and other religious, symbolizes the deep purification that the Church must face. This aspect of the prophecy underscores the belief that suffering and persecution can lead to spiritual renewal, strengthening the faith of those who remain steadfast. However, the promise of the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary offers a counterpoint of hope against the gloomy predictions of punishment and apostasy. The message of Fatima, while warning of spiritual and temporal dangers, assures that the final victory belongs to faith and sincere devotion. This serves as a stimulus for the faithful to persevere in prayer and religious practice. The relevance of the third Fatima prophecy for modern times is often discussed in theological conferences, sermons, and spiritual studies. Continued devotion to Our Lady of Fatima and adherence to her messages are seen as essential to contemporary Catholic spirituality. The Fatima story is a powerful reminder that, despite difficulties and trials, faith and devotion can lead to peace and redemption. Thus, the third prophecy of Fatima continues to be a central theme of reflection and action for many faithful Catholics. The call to prayer, penance, and consecration remains as urgent today as it was at the time of the apparitions. As the world faces spiritual and temporal challenges, the message of Fatima offers a path of hope and spiritual renewal, encouraging the faithful to remain steadfast in their faith and to trust in the ultimate triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. When considering the third prophecy of Fatima, it is essential to place it within its historical and spiritual context. The apparitions of Fatima came at a time of intense world turmoil, marked by the First World War and the Russian Revolution, events that left deep marks on society. The messages given to the three shepherd children at Fatima echo these circumstances and offer a vision that transcends the ages, addressing future generations on the pressing need for conversion and faith. Specifically, the third prophecy warns of a crisis of faith within the Church, a theme that many see reflected in the current divisions and conflicts facing the Catholic Church. The vision of a bishop dressed in white being martyred, associated with the assassination attempt on Pope John Paul II, is interpreted by many as a sign of the great tribulations the Church will face. This incident, seen by some as a partial fulfillment of the prophecy, has intensified interest and concern about the full content of the message. In addition to interpretations centered on the Catholic Church, the third Fatima prophecy is seen by some as a global warning. Growing geopolitical tensions, natural disasters, and armed conflicts are often interpreted as part of Fatima's warnings of imminent punishment if humanity does not repent and return to God. This vision is backed up by several subsequent Marian apparitions, and other biblical prophecies predicting difficult times preceding an era of promised peace. From a practical point of view, the third prophecy emphasizes the importance of concrete spiritual actions, such as the daily recitation of the rosary, 
participation in the Eucharist and consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. These acts are seen not just as devotions, but as forms of spiritual resistance against evil and means of obtaining divine grace to face present and future challenges. The message of Fatima continues to exert a powerful influence on Catholics around the world. Pilgrimages to the Shrine of Fatima, especially on May 13, the date of the first apparition, testify to the deep reverence the faithful have for Our Lady of Fatima and her messages. The spread of Our Lady's call to prayer and penance has inspired countless collective prayer initiatives and movements of consecration to Mary. In an increasingly secularized world, the third prophecy of Fatima resonates as a powerful reminder of the urgent need to return to spiritual and moral values. The central essence of Fatima, that true peace can only be achieved through conversion of heart and faith in God, takes on a profound relevance in times of uncertainty and conflict. The warnings about apostasy and catastrophe are not merely gloomy predictions, but imperative calls to spiritual action. The message of the third Fatima prophecy continues to be not only relevant, but profoundly impactful. It's called a prayer, penance, and consecration is seen as an essential way to face the spiritual and temporal challenges of our age. The promises of triumph and peace contained in Fatima continue to inspire and guide the faithful, reminding everyone of the need for a living and active faith in the face of the trials of the modern world. The message of Fatima, with its prophecies and appeals, is timeless, offering ongoing spiritual guidance for present and future generations. The third prophecy, in particular, highlights the ongoing spiritual battle and the urgent need for resistance through faith. As we reflect on this prophecy, it is essential to consider how we can, both individually and together, respond to the divine call in our daily lives. A central element of this response is to strengthen our prayer life. The regular practice of the Rosary, as requested by Our Lady, is not only a personal devotion, but a powerful means of intercession for world peace and the conversion of hearts. This commitment to prayer can transform communities and nations, uniting the faithful in a joint effort for divine grace. In addition to prayer, penance plays a crucial role in the message of Fatima. It's not just about personal sacrifice, but about participating in Christ's redemptive suffering. By embracing penance, we recognize our weaknesses and seek God's mercy, contributing to the spiritual purification and renewal of humanity. Consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary is another fundamental aspect of the Fatima message. It is not just an act of devotion, but a commitment to live according to Christ's teachings, with Mary as our guide and model. Personal and community consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary is seen as spiritual protection and a path to holiness. The message of Fatima also highlights the importance of spiritual leadership in the Church. Over the years, popes have dedicated themselves to disseminating and responding to the message of Fatima, with John Paul II being a striking example. His consecration of the world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary in 1984 and his survival of the 1981 bombing are often cited as evidence of the divine intervention promised at Fatima. Today, the message of Fatima resonates with renewed urgency. The social, political, and environmental crises we face reflect many of the warnings contained in the prophecy. The answer to these crises, according to Fatima, lies not only in temporal solutions, but in a profound spiritual transformation that manifests itself in actions of charity, justice, and peace. In short, the third prophecy of Fatima continues to inspire and convoke Catholics and all those who seek a deeper understanding of the spiritual issues of our time. The message of Fatima, with its emphasis on prayer, penance, and consecration, offers a clear path to address the spiritual and moral challenges we face. By embracing this message, we can work towards achieving the promises of peace and triumph contained in the Fatima revelations, trusting in Our Lady's intercession and God's infinite mercy. Thank you for watching this video. Leave your like and subscribe to the Living Hope channel on YouTube. Activate notifications by clicking on the bell to receive other publications.